Good evening. It's 9 p.m. here in South Korea. Thank you for joining us on Arirang News. We begin with deadly earthquakes that have left thousands dead in Turkey and Syria while survivors are having to endure freezing conditions. And the WHO has warned that the death toll could rise to more than four times the current figure. Ideon leads our coverage tonight. More than 5,000 killed, thousands injured, and an unknown number trapped in the rubble. Freezing winter weather is making it worse for those left injured or homeless after two massive earthquakes struck Turkey and the northwest Syria on Monday. Our houses have been damaged. We cannot go inside. We haven't eaten anything since morning. Our children are very hungry. May God protect all of us. And some are racing to find survivors. We heard them. They're calling out asking for help, asking to be rescued. We cannot rescue them. How can we rescue them? Nobody has come since this morning. Nobody. 7.8 and 7.5 magnitude earthquakes were the most powerful in the region in at least a century. The first, the early morning 7.8 magnitude quake and dozens of aftershocks left at least 3,400 dead in Turkey, according to the country's vice president, Fuad Okte. And death figures in Syria are currently at around 1,600, confirmed by the Damascus government and rescue workers. However, the WHO has warned that the number of deaths could rise to around 20,000 in the coming days due to the potential for further collapses. Turkey's disaster management authority said more than 7,800 people have been rescued across 10 provinces. The authorities also reported at least 5,600 collapsed buildings in the country during and after the quakes. Similar devastation has been reported in northern Syria as well. Around 4 million people in northern Syria were already displaced and relying on humanitarian support as a result of the country's ongoing war. Meanwhile, the United States Geological Survey said at least 100 aftershocks measuring 4.0 or greater have occurred since the first earthquake. Lee Dae-hyun, Arirang News.